Manual hyperinflation. The manual hyperinflation device can help give you a bigger breath than you can take on your own. It helps keep your lungs inflated, which helps produce a stronger cough with increased volume. Once you learn to use the manual hyperinflator, this portable system can help you to maintain airway clearance and decrease the potential for lung infection. When placing the manual hyperinflator bag together, you'll use a manual hyperinflating bag, also known as an Ambu bag. When you squeeze it, you'll notice that the air comes out of this port here. That is where you connect a one-way valve. To the one-way valve, you connect wide bore 20 mil, 22 millimeter tubing. To the end of it is where you connect a mouthpiece that is used in conjunction with nose clips, or you can use a mask. To connect the mask, you will need a 15 millimeter adapter that goes to the mask and allows it to connect to the end of the tubing. I thought we would spend a few moments going over how to actually use the bag to give you those deep breaths that we were talking about. When you use it, you can either use a mouthpiece or you can use a mask. Sounds good. Okay, which one have you used it with before? The mouthpiece. The mouthpiece, okay, so we'll do a quick refresher on that. Okay. When you used it, did you have to use nose clips? Yes. Okay, today we're gonna try it without nose clips. If you need nose clips, you can add them, okay? okay? And the indication of needing nose clips is if you feel like you have air coming out of your nose, okay? Okay. So the mouthpiece goes into the end of the tubing here. You're going to hold the mouthpiece between your teeth and your lips, okay? okay. And then just follow my instructions. Okay, breathe in, breathe in. Breathe in, breathe in, and let the breath go. Good job. So that was about three or four compressions. Did you feel a good chest rise? Yes. Okay, and how big of a breath did that feel like? Feel pretty good? Big breath. Okay, good, happy to hear it. I would like you to try it on your own with the mouthpiece, okay? okay. So the tubing is nice and long, so you can place this wherever you'd like, okay? Where do you think would feel best for you? Um, on the table. On the table, okay, I'll let you try it. Good job. Notice that Emma was able to do four compressions with the bag on the table and still get che full chest rise all the way up to her clavicles. The thing that I would like to try with you next is a mask. Sometimes okay. when people get ill, they are not strong enough even at their mouths to hold a mouthpiece. So you might need assistance from a caregiver or a family member to use a mask over your nose and mouth and squeezing the bag to give you deep breaths, okay? Do you okay. mind if I try that with you? Go for it. Great, so we're gonna take the mouthpiece off and we're gonna try the mask. And it just goes into the same end of the tubing as this did. I'm gonna place this on your lap if you're okay. You're gonna feel some pressure over your nose and mouth. And to those of you at home, I'm, you might notice that you're able to apply a little bit of pressure inward to get a good mask seal instead of pressing firm against the face. And that'll stop some of the leaking that happens at the sides of air, okay? okay. So same thing as with the mouthpiece. I'm gonna put the mask on and just breathe in when I instruct you to, okay? Okay. So on your face, a little bit of pressure. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and good. How did that feel? Okay, sounds good. Did it feel similar to the mouthpiece? Did you feel your chest rise? Because we did about the same amount of compressions, three or four compressions. Yes. Okay. Now the idea behind this with the, a mask or even the mouthpiece is that you can f cause full chest rise, okay, with the bag. And you may remember when we did our previous training for manual assisted cough, where I was able to push on your stomach and help you with a cough after you got a deep breath. When you're ill with something like the flu or a pneumonia, some of us don't have the ability to take in a deep breath or be able to cough, okay? okay. You can put manual assisted cough with a deep breath from the manual hyperinflator together and provide good therapy for both a deep breath and a cough. Okay. 
Emma, thanks for bringing along your mom, Chilo, today. Chilo, we're gonna go over what it looks like to use the manual hyperinflator in conjunction with a manual assisted cough. Now, you're pretty good with manual assisted coughing. You kind of feel comfortable with that positioning? Yes. Okay, great. I wanna go over a couple quick things with you real quick. You're already in great position. Your feet are on either side of Emma's feet on the footrest, okay? We have the manual hyperinflator in position on Emma's lap so that you can compress the bag with one hand, okay? So to get into position for the rest, I'd like you to place the mouthpiece into Emma's mouth, one hand on Emma's stomach, ready to be able to provide a manual assisted cough. Emma takes four compressions for full chest rise, okay? I'm gonna count with you. Okay, so in one, two, three, four, hand on her stomach and cough. Good job, okay? I wanna notice a couple things here. You were able to squeeze the bag four times to cause full chest rise for Emma all the way up to her collarbones. And because your body was already in position with one hand on her stomach over her belly button, you were able to easily transition from pumping the bag to helping her with a cough. The other thing to notice also for Emma is that as she coughed, the mouthpiece naturally came out of her mouth and she was able to cough after receiving the full breath. So good job. Great. I want to talk to you, Emma, about how to use it for lung maintenance. Okay. okay. There's been a lot of research that has been done that has shown that if you stretch the lungs daily, you can maintain your lung health over an extended period of time. The manual hyperinflator can help you take those deep breaths that are needed. We usually recommend to people that you do it two to three times a day, and I always tell people to do it before a meal. That way you're getting the deep breaths when your stomach is empty, okay? okay? Each time you do it, you should do 10 breaths for therapy. One breath equals for you about four compressions, okay? And always focusing on chest rise up to the clavicles or the collarbone. You can practice this in front of a mirror so you can see what a deep breath looks like, okay? So two to three times a day and even more frequently if you're feeling ill or uh, taking it with you on a trip or something along those lines. Do you have any questions for me today? Nope, not Okay, well, I wanted to thank you so much for coming and uh, working with me on this on a refresher. Of course. Thank you.